Get ready to mark your calendars. Data. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 important dates in fiction. People will get it all. The forces of Mother Nature will be so devastating, it will bring an end to this world on winter solstice 12 21 12. For this list, we're taking a look at significant dates from movies and TV shows that will forever stand out in pop culture. Mr. President, if you wish to deploy, the time is now. Number 10, July 4th, 1996, Independence Day. Perhaps it's fate that today is the 4th of July, and you will once again be fighting for our freedom. In this Roland Emmerich flick, aliens invade Earth on July 2nd, 1996. This results in the destruction of numerous buildings and landmarks, including the White House. Humanity fires back on July 3rd, although resistance appears futile. Then, on the 4th of July, David Levinson discovers that the alien mothership is no match for a computer virus. Thus, our heroes make one last stand for humankind. If we plant a virus, into that mother ship, it's going to then filter down into all the corresponding ships below. It sure is convenient that this final showdown takes place on Independence Day, which U.S. President Thomas J. Whitmore ties into his rousing speech. Fourth of July will no longer be known as an American holiday, but as the day when the world declared in one voice, we will not go quietly into the night. His inspirational words not only speak to Americans, but the rest of the world as well ultimately encouraging every person to fight for their freedom on the most patriotic of U.S. holidays. Happy Fourth of July, Daddy. Same to you, Munchkin. Number 9, October 16th, 1997, Lost in Space. This is the beginning. This is the day. You are watching the unfolding of one of history's great adventures. When Lost in Space first hit the airwaves in 1965, 1997 probably seemed like a far-off year. Of course, the late 90s didn't exactly turn out as creator Irwin Allen predicted, which only adds to the show's camp value. Dr. Smith, is it possible that certain parts of the body don't reanimate as quickly as others? The heart, for instance? Regardless, October 16th will forever hold a special place in the hearts of sci-fi fans. On this day, the Robinson family left the overpopulated Earth aboard the Jupiter 2. Their mission to colonize in deep space goes awry, though, when the traitorous Dr. Smith sabotages the ship. The Robinsons subsequently become lost in space, and the rest is history. As of this moment, the spacecraft has passed the limits of our galaxy. It's presumed to be hopelessly lost in space. Interestingly, 1997 is the same year a feature-length reboot entered production. Of course, the less said about that movie, the better. Roger, Houston. And the monkey flips the switch. Number 8, January 1st, 2000. Futurama. Space. It seems to go on and on forever. But then you get to the end and a gorilla starts throwing barrels at you. As we approached the 21st century, many expected Y2K would mark the beginning of humankind's downfall. What the? January 1st, 2000 was actually a pretty uneventful day, unless you were Philip J. Fry. As the clock strikes midnight, this pizza delivery boy winds up in a cryogenic chamber. When he's finally unfrozen, Fry discovers that it's December 31st, 29.99. Oh my God. It's the future. My parents, my co-workers, my girlfriend. I'll never see any of them again. Yahoo! At first, this appears to be an accident. It's eventually revealed, however, that Leela's pet Nibbler intentionally pushed Fry into the cryonic tube. Ah, oh, Nibbler's there. Wait, what? <laughs> Fry serves a purpose in the future being the only person who can defeat the brain spawn. Well, it's not like Fry left anyone important behind in the year 2000 anyway. Well, except for his dog, Seymour. That a boy, Seymour, right here waiting for me as always. Number seven, September 22nd, 2004, Lost. <laughs> the pilot episode of Lost aired on September 22nd, 2004. 
Likewise, September 22nd is the same day Oceanic Flight 815 departed from Sydney, Australia. Headed for Los Angeles, California, the plane ends up crashing on a deserted island instead. It was September 22nd. I think I crashed your plane. The survivors quickly realize that the island holds countless secrets, commencing one of television's greatest mysteries. What was that? September 22nd might seem like a random date, but it's actually the autumnal equinox. In addition to being the first day of autumn, this is also one of the rare occasions when day and night are practically the same length. It just goes to show that nothing in the puzzling realm of Lost is purely a coincidence. What is that? This, Jack, is your life. Number six, April 5th, 2063. Star Trek First Contact. The date. Data, I need to know the exact date. April 4th, 2063. April 4th, the day before First Contact. Star Trek is a rare sci-fi franchise that actually offers a bright, hopeful vision of the future for generations to come. This promising future can largely be attributed to Dr. Zephram Cochran, who invented the warp drive. I can't tell you what an honor it is to work with you on this project. I never Rich. imagined that I'd be meeting the man who invented warp drive. Rich. Cochran uses this revolutionary technology to successfully achieve light speed, which immediately attracts attention from a Vulcan ship. Humankind thus makes first contact with extraterrestrial life on April 5th, 2063. Captain's log, April the 5th. 2063. The voyage of the Phoenix was a success. This peaceful encounter is almost prevented when the Borg travel back in time from the 24th century. Fortunately, the Enterprise crew is around to keep the timeline intact. But if they changed history, why are we still here? Number 5. December 21st, 2012. 2012. Now the victims, and we've seen many, are said to have adhered to the Mayan quiche calendar, which predicts the end of time to occur on the 21st of December of this year due to the sun's destructive forces. Judging from the Mesoamerican long count calendar, it was once theorized that doomsday would arrive on December 21st, 2012. I'm a dead man. I'm a dead man. Obviously, the world did not come to a cataclysmic end on this date. However, Mayanism did inspire one of Roland Emmerich's biggest disaster movies to date. According to their calendar, in the year 2012, a cataclysmic event will unfold caused by an alignment of the planets in our solar system that only happens every 640,000 years. Oh, not again. This blockbuster presents us with a worst case scenario, as the 2012 phenomenon becomes a reality. California collapses into the Pacific Ocean, Yellowstone caldera erupts, and numerous other catastrophes plague the Earth. The destruction is nothing short of biblical, in what can only be described as a modern-day version of Noah's Ark. That guy's crazy, right, Daddy? I don't think so. Number 4, June 13th, 1979. Friday the 13th. It's not bad enough to have Friday the 13th. We've got a full moon, too. Friday the 13th is often considered the unluckiest day of the month. And if you've ever been a camp counselor, chances are this slasher flick only added to your superstitious beliefs. We weren't doing anything, we were just messing up. <laughs> camp Crystal Lake forever changed when young Jason Voorhees drowned in the summer of 1957. Jason's homicidal mother exacted revenge on June 13, 1958, resulting in the camp shutting down. When Camp Crystal Lake reopened about two decades later, Jason's mom returned to treat herself to a killing spree. <laughs> Although Mrs. Voorhees met her demise, Jason soon resurfaced and followed in his mother's footsteps. Since then, Jason has practically become the mascot for this infamous day. In other words, Jason is to Friday the 13th what Santa Claus is to Christmas. The girl who survived that night at Camp Blood, that Friday the 13th, she claimed she saw him. She disappeared two months later. Number three, January 12th, 1992. 2001, A Space Odyssey. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Stanley Kubrick's sci-fi masterpiece is largely about the tools that bring about humankind's evolution. 
Humanity reaches a significant turning point on January 12, 1992, as HAL 9000 goes online. Well, hell, I'm damned if I can find anything wrong with it. Yes. It's puzzling. Possessing zero room for error, this sentient computer is designed to strive for efficiency. That's not necessarily a good thing, though. On their mission to Jupiter, the Discovery One crew discovers just how far Hal is willing to go to achieve perfection. I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me, and I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow to happen. Like some of the other movies on this list, 2001 wasn't 100% accurate in its depiction of the future. Yet the film's themes regarding technology ring true even today. After all, who's to say we won't create a HAL 9000 of our own in the near future? HAL? 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 Number 2, August 29th, 1997. Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Three billion human lives ended on August 29th, 1997. The survivors of the nuclear fire called the war Judgment Day. Due to time travel, the precise date of Judgment Day has changed several times throughout the Terminator franchise. However, we're giving precedence to the original Judgment Day, August 29, 1997. On this ill-fated day, the artificial intelligence known as Skynet becomes self-aware at 2.14 a.m. Skynet begins to learn at a geometric rate. It becomes self-aware at 2.14 a.m. Eastern Time, August 29th. When the operators attempt to shut the system down, Skynet responds by launching nuclear missiles at Russia. They retaliate by firing back at the United States and its allies, ultimately resulting in the loss of 3 billion lives. I know the date it happens. I'm sure it feels very real to you. On August 29th, 1997, it's gonna feel pretty f***ing real to you too. This is only the beginning as the machines rise to power. Humankind's only hope is resistance leader John Connor. On multiple occasions, though, Skynet attempts to remove John from the equation altogether. Drive a minute. Where the hell are you going? Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. The end of the world will be on February 14th in the year 2016. Valentine's Day. Bummer. Rorschach's Journal, October 12th, 1985. Tonight, a comedian died in New York. What day is this? It's February 2nd. Groundhog Day. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, I thought it was yesterday. Number one, November 5th, 1955. Back to the Future. Here's a red-letter date in the history of science. November 5th, 1955. This trilogy has no shortage of important dates. On October 21st, 2015, Marty McFly arrives 30 years in the future. While we still haven't gotten Jaws 19, this date would go down in history as Back to the Future Day. We're descending toward Hill Valley, California at 4.29 p.m. on Wednesday, October 21st, 2015. If we had to single out one particular date, though, it would have to be November 5th, 1955. On this day, Dr. Emmett L. Brown came up with the idea for the flux capacitor, which is what makes time travel possible. It's taken me almost 30 years of my entire family fortune to realize the vision of that day. My God, has it been that long? About 30 years later, he successfully builds a time machine out of a DeLorean. When Marty finds himself behind the wheel, he travels back to the date Doc Brown initially conceived his invention. Thus ensues a race against time to get Marty back to the future. Let's see if you bastards can do 90. Do you agree with our list? What do you think is the most important date in fiction? I'm a messenger of God. You're doomed if you stay here. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Oh, boys! I'm back!